Hi. How are you? Good. Michelle McDonald spent years climbing up the corporate ladder at a major telecom company. These days, she works as a program coordinator at the San Diego chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. It's a much better fit. Hey, Deva, how are you? It's Michelle over at the office. McDonald suffers from major depression. She spent years not knowing what was wrong. It was it felt like being imprisoned um, in, in jello, sometimes quicksand, just being unable to really function um, as, a, as, as a normal human being. McDonald says when she was a kid, her mother made a number of suicide attempts. And even though I knew that mental illness ran in the family, I, I didn't really identify it in myself till I was in my first year in college and then really didn't identify and get treated and learn about recovery until about five years ago. Nearly one in 10 Americans suffers from depression. The disease affects more than 350 million people worldwide. It's one of the leading causes of disability. Yet, because of stigma, many people don't acknowledge they're depressed and don't seek treatment. San Diego-based Ridge Diagnostics has come up with a blood test that could make it easier to diagnose and ultimately treat depression. It's called MDD score. The test measures nine different biomarkers that company officials say are associated with depression. And these biomarkers are not genetics. They're hormones, proteins, and some enzymes that have been shown to predictably change when a patient is suffering from major depressive disorder. Williams explains when the brain triggers depression, the body responds. The blood test measures these physiological changes. The patient receives a detailed list and an overall score from one to nine. If you have a five or greater, five to nine, then the likelihood that you're suffering from major depressive disorder is 90, greater than 90% compared to structured, rigorous interview tools. If your score is one to four, there's a 95% likelihood that you are not suffering from major depressive disorder. A small study conducted at three hospitals suggests the test can effectively differentiate between depressed and non-depressed patients. The study concludes more research is needed. Williams says the test is not meant to replace a doctor's judgment. It's intended to be an additional tool that doctors can use to help them confirm a diagnosis. San Diego psychiatrist Michael Lardin has been ordering the test for some of his patients. He says it provides an objective measurement of depression that can be very therapeutic. The real usefulness is I can have the, the individual not only look at, you know, and hear my opinion, but it can be confirmed and reinforced by, again, this objective test. And that makes people really buy into treatment. And if they don't buy into treatment, they don't get better. Dr. Lardin points out psychiatrists aren't the only doctors who can order this test. The majority of psychiatric medicines are not prescribed by psychiatrists. They're prescribed by family practice doctors who don't have the same expertise. They don't have the same training. And in this group, the largest group that prescribes psychotropics, I think it's very useful. The MDD score test costs about $800. Officials at Ridge Diagnostics say most insurance plans cover it. And I will talk to you soon. Michelle McDonald hopes the test could help reduce some of the stigma of depression. She says people suffering from the disorder need to realize it's a chronic condition with measurable characteristics, just like diabetes or heart disease. It's okay. You don't have to hide. You're not a leper. <laughs> you're, you're a person that has an, an, a disease of the brain, and it needs pharmaceutical treatment. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.